Hi, my name is Wendy Lee, and I'm so excited to be your guest today and share this super cute Get Well kit tutorial with you today. With the chilly weather this time of year, so many of us get the sniffles, and this is a fun kit you can share as a gift for all those that are under the weather. I also love that this one can stand up and be displayed. The supplies we're going to be using today are from Stampin' Up. This is shaded spruce cardstock. We're going to use a piece of four and a quarter by ten and an eighth, three and a quarter by four and three eighths, and four and three-eighths by two and a quarter. To decorate our project, we're gonna pull in some of the Let It Snow Special Designer Series paper. At four and three inches, three by three, three by one, and three and five-eighths by two. We've got a couple additional pieces. We're gonna have a, one, a three and a quarter by three quarter inch piece of Whisper White cardstock that I've already stamped, and a couple of scraps of Whisper White and Real Red cardstock that I've die cut with the Layering Circles dies. These were also stamped using the snow, super cute Snowman Season stamp set, as well as the Itty Bitty Greeting stamp set with sentiments for just about any occasion. We're also gonna pull in some white Baker's twine, approximately four inches, and these cute felt embellishments from the Let It Snow embellishment kit. All right, let's get started. First, I'm going to score my four and a quarter by 10 and an eighth cardstock at three eighths. I'll slide it in here at three eighths. Make sure that cutting blade is out of the way. Three eighths, then we'll slide it down to the one and a quarter inch mark. Score that again, and then I'm gonna flip it and place it at the three and five eighths and score it and down to the four and a half and score it. Okay, so that piece is done. So we've got those score lines right there. Okay, we'll come back to this piece. The next piece, the three and a quarter by four and three eighths, we're gonna score at three eighths and at one and an eighth. I'm using this side of the uh, trimmer to do my scoring because it's narrower and that way I have more of the cardstock against the base of the trimmer in case you were wondering. Okay, the last piece we're gonna score is the four and three eighths by two and a quarter. We're gonna score in on each end at three eighths of an inch. paper trimmer out of the way. Okay, let's start with our card base. I'm gonna go ahead and use my bone folder and give each of these score lines a nice crease. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some tear and tape to the 3 8 inch tab. run my bone folder so I get a good adhesion to that. And before I go ahead and put this together, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere down the four inch by three inch, whoops, piece of designer series paper. Okay, so we'll just center that. So this is on the wider side. And then we're gonna fold on this second score line. So you can see there's your one, there's your second one. And then I'm gonna remove this tape and fold that tab under, okay? Give that a really good pressure. So then it's gonna pop up like that, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and do the back because I find it's easier to do the back when it's flat. So I'm gonna slide that piece over and I'm pulling in my four and three-eighths by two and a quarter piece, which was the third one that we scored. I'm gonna apply the tear and tape to both those ends And we'll go ahead and make sure those are down really good. And then we're gonna apply a piece of, uh, whoa, what is it? Two inch by three and five eighths, I think. There we go, we'll put that designer paper right there. 
And then I'm gonna need these two little die cut elements as well. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere those together. And then put a couple of dimensional dots on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and place those in the center of my band. Hope you're feeling better. So cute. Okay, I'm pulling out my cup of soup and I'm gonna use that as a guide for my band to fit around. And then that will also give me my placement. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the backing from my tear and tape. Sometimes this is difficult to do, sometimes it's easy to do. Depends on my hands and what they're doing that day, right? Okay. So I'm just gonna look at this and I'm gonna center it and press those sides down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and slide out that soup so that it's not in my way as I finish the project. Plus I wanna make sure these ends are down really good so I'm gonna run that bone folder along both those sides. And you can see there's a little bit of a bow to that band, okay? Let's flip it over and finish the front. I'm gonna pull in my last piece of cardstock this was the three and a quarter by four and three eighths. And I'm going to go ahead and burnish those edge. And then we'll apply some tear and tape to this top tab on the front. I'm also gonna flip it over and apply some tear tape to this bottom edge here. Okay. And then I want a small piece right here because this is going to adhere to the front of this box. I don't want that to pull away. So I'm just gonna use that as a guide so I don't get too long on my piece. And I wanna place it just below that fold line. Okay, let me run that in real good. And let's go ahead and get those on there good. All right, let's go ahead and decorate this layer as well. So I've got my three by three designer series paper. And we'll go ahead and adhere that one on this lower section of the panel. Then I've got my one inch wide strip that I'm also gonna put at a slight angle here. And then my stamped layer that I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back. All right. I'm gonna put this at a slight angle as well, but going the opposite direction. Perfect. I forgot one thing. I forgot to slide in my twine. That's okay. When you forget to do things like that, you can always salvage it. So I just needed to get that twine underneath that layer and I wanted it on the other side of that dimensional dot so that it doesn't come off. And I'm just gonna loop that twine around. Once I'm happy with the placement of the twine, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off a couple of glue dots and secure the ends of that twine in place. Okay, next I'm gonna use some liquid adhesive and I'm gonna adhere down my mittens. Whoa. Okay, put one there, how cute is that? And one on this side. This will just take a moment to dry when you're using liquid adhesive, but I think it's really good when you're dealing with a chunky element like this. I'll put a little bit on this little stocking cap as well and see if I can get that stocking cap to adhere there. Perfect. Okay, now we're ready to finish the front of this piece here. So what I want to do is I want to remove the tear and tape from this top edge. And I'm going to carefully, since this may not be dry yet, I'm also going to remove the tear and tape from the back of that layer. I want to place this centered left to right and at the bottom of my card base. I'm happy with that. So you can see, I can fold it up and down. You can see that it's adhered flat to that piece there. Okay. To adhere this down, I've actually cut this so that it doesn't fold flat once that's adhered. You could do that. You could put that on flat and, and adhere that, but I find that the hulls falls out really easily if I do it that way. 
So I like to go ahead and put the holes in and use that as a guide. So to make sure that all this stays stable, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a pack of tissues and slide them in first. I can get them in that pouch. Where are you? Okay. That way it's gonna give me some stability. And I'm gonna slide the holes in. I'm gonna pull this tear and tape off. Slide that to the back. And once I get that where I want it, I'm gonna push that down in place. So that's nice and secure and my holes aren't gonna easily slip out. So now I can just put my suit packet right back in. You might have to finagle it a little bit to get that back in there. Maybe, maybe, there we go. So cute, right? Love this, love this. So those are the two different ones that I've got with the different colors of, of um, embellishments. I've got a third one that I created the other day that's got the little snowman using the same stamp set and designer paper, but changing it up just a little bit. Cute. I hope you love these, these projects and we'll give it a try. Thanks so much for watching.